what's happening? I'm April. I'm Rondell. And, and we, we are, are Nomadic, Nomadic Wonder. Wonder. Uh, we just thought it'd be a good time to reintroduce ourselves, y'all. Um, mm -hmm. What is a Nomadic Wonder? <laughs> couple that travel the world slowly mm -hmm. uh, staying in various different places looking for a place to call home we stay in each place for six to twelve months uh, to get a full uh, vibe a feel for the place to see if it's a place we can call home and if it ain't we holler time to go so we really got some love for Merida y'all but Merida is not home so it's time for us to head out stay tuned for where we're going let's talk inspiration people um, for, for us, for me rather, I'll speak for myself, for me getting out the country was a big deal. Um, I had been wanting to leave the country since I was much younger, messed around, had kids, yada, 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 pushed everything back, um, and I'm out. Uh, why did I want to leave? Tons of different reasons, man. You know, I've been, what do you call that, uh, having uh, entanglements with the police the majority of my life. I also just really want to see the world, man. I've always wanted to see the world since I was a little boy, man. Uh, I just wanted to touch foot on every continent, um, learn to speak some different languages, uh, and just live a lifestyle that I could not just be proud of, but enjoy. For me, I've always wanted to explore and travel. I love taking road trips in the U.S., and as soon as I got my passport, uh, I went abroad. I just loved experiencing new cultures, seeing new things, and just kind of broadening, you know, what my knowledge base is about the world. Uh, so that's why I'm out here, and I'm out here with you. Thank you, baby. All right, let's talk motivation, people. Um, I am, apart from just getting up out and seeing this beautiful world, uh, that this beautiful world that's around us, um, uh, we feel motivated to take our lives to the next level, uh, to live a true life of freedom and independence. Um, in Merida, we have a few bloggers that we follow who get it in, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they've been published already. I'm trying to get published. Uh, what's it, Asia Arrow, right? Yeah. Shout out, you guys follow her. All you single ladies out here want to know if it's safe to live in Merida or what is it like to be out here in Merida? Follow her, man, give her a follow. Um, and our other dude, SPK, shout out, brother. Um, our neighbor now, uh, he's out here doing his thing, man. Uh, you want to know about weight loss? You want to understand what the Merida lifestyle is like? Uh, um, he's a blogger. He posts routinely. My brother got me out here trying to do at least two a week uh, because he's consistent. You know what I mean? Uh, who else, uh, Native Nomads, uh, they have a whole mapping project of neighborhoods in Merida. So if you are curious and you want to know more about neighborhoods in Merida, check them out. We'll put them all in our description. All worthwhile, man. The main thing is, yo, lock into some inspiration, man. If you are wanting to ascribe to something, man, see somebody who's doing what you try to do, and climb on, man. Climb in. Get on board. Get inspired. Look, guys, this is the neighbor I was telling you about, SPK. Got getting it in up here, motivating me to get my game tighter. Uh, um, what motivated you to get out of the country, man? So what motivated me to leave the Matrix was knowing that other people who look like me were living an amazing life, and you know, just living that best life, being fulfilled, leaving the rat race, doing That's what inspired what's up. them. And I said, wow, they look like me. What makes them different than me? Why can't I do it if they're doing it? But I, so I, was like, I gotta give it a shot. And so here I am. So look, um, I wanna make sure we don't give you the wrong impression. Merida might be the right spot for you, man. There's tons of really inexpensive housing here that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of uh, furnished apartments, unfurnished apartments, uh, one bedroom, studios, uh, mini mansions, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot here and the weather is right for somebody, just not us. Right, um, a lot of people love it here when they move here. So it's all about finding like that place home, that's- you know what I'm saying? Right, that's home for you. So it's time for us to explore a bit more and try to find home somewhere else. I'm not sure if we'll find it, but we'll, we'll find it here, but it's worth exploring. Hey, I just wanna urge you guys, you know what I'm saying? Let us be a voice of inspiration, man. If you're thinking about coming down here, come on down and check it out, come visit, man. It's, it's, it's I don't wanna call it cheap, but it's cheap as a mug. Uh, <laughs> uh, the price of living down here is really inexpensive, man. Um, and if you have the urge to you know, stretch your legs and start trying to travel abroad, Merida would be a good place to start. Uh, in my humble opinion. Mm -hmm. There's a large expat community here and although some people speak English, you're gonna run into yeah, yeah. You people who don't speak English yeah. at all. Yeah. I mean, you you are in Merida, uh, you are in Mexico, so learn some Spanish phrases yourself, <laughs> right? Get there, baby. All and right. connect with the locals. All right, y'all. But yeah, Mexico is by and large been the longest place that we've been. Uh, and that's by design. Uh, it's cheap to live here. Um, it's close to the United States, some of the businesses that we're trying to uh, rev up. 
So in all the places we stay, man, we enjoyed a, a certain number of things. This has been the cheapest place. You can just drop your clothes off and get them done for like $2. Speaking of cheap, I'm going to miss the price of accommodations. The cost of living cost here. Of living cost here. of living here. Yeah, and baby. Houses. Woo! Uh, it's really, really affordable. You're going to miss interacting with the people. The people here were kind, uh, uh, sincere. Um, you know, I'll miss them. What I'm going to miss is the laid back spirit, the vibe that is Merida. I will not miss the heat at all. I'm not going to miss Los Mosquiteros, mm, even mm, though we can't mm, avoid them completely mm. where we go. We ain't missing them. So our motivation, we really want to show you what, what world travel looks like. Um, it ain't expensive, you ain't got to be super rich to do it. Uh, the jobs we have are kind of mid-range, you know what I'm saying? We're making literally half of what we made when we are in the States. Mm -hmm. And we've saved way more money yeah. than we're able to save in the States, man. Um, it's just a good lifestyle, man, uh, for us. And we want you to be encouraged. Like, if you think you want to try it, give it a try, man. Go go on sabbatical for a month or something. You know what I mean? So if you want to live independently, you want to be, uh, live out in the world. And um, you're not a retiring age. Right. Uh, you ain't got a whole stack in the, ba in the bank. Stacks and stacks on stacks on stacks in the bank. Um, we suggest you find some multiple streams of income. Mm -hmm. There are lots of different ways to get started out here. You know, get a blog. Uh, start your little YouTube page, monetize a YouTube. Be a virtual assistant, find different remote jobs. Man, go out to Fiverr. They give you tons of different leads on how to be an independent contractor and what you can be doing. Um, if you got your degree, man, think about teaching online. That's what we do right now. Uh, we run a little t-shirt shop. It's just so many different ways. Um, and you can go to YouTube University to get your degree on how to do all of it. So <laughs> Pretty much. I strongly, I just, I just killed that bee. Damn it. Um, I just, the world has changed, y'all. The world has changed. Um, the jobs that you had, a lot of you, uh, uh, maybe it's not there or will not be the same when you go back. Um, it would be nice if you were your own uh, job, man, if you were your own industry. Um, I think that's all I got to say. We appreciate you again. If you guys uh, like what you saw today, give us that thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. We appreciate you. Uh, this is April. <laughs> and this is <laughs> And we are. <laughs>